What if I told you that the human body as we know it today is the result of millions of years of changes, adapting to everything from climate shifts to survival challenges? Let's journey through time and witness the incredible transformation of the human body. The human body we see today is the product of over six million years of evolution. Every feature, every bone, every muscle, and even the smallest details tell a story of survival, adaptation, and change. To understand the body we live in now, we must look back at its origins. Part 1. The Dawn of Humanity Around six million years ago, early hominids began to evolve in Africa. These ancestors, such as Sahelanthropus chidensis, were small, primitive creatures that walked on all fours, but they had already begun to show signs of bipedalism standing upright on two legs. Visuals, a split screen showing early ape-like creatures walking on all fours, gradually transitioning to upright walking. Key evolutionary trait, bipedalism. Walking on two legs was a major milestone that freed the hands, allowing the development of tools, better vision, and the ability to travel greater distances for food. Bipedalism wasn't just about walking. It completely changed the structure of the body. The spine became more vertical, the pelvis shifted to support an upright posture, and the legs grew longer. This early shift in movement set the stage for more advanced hominid species to evolve. Part 2. The Rise of Homo Erectus Around 1.9 million years ago, Homo Erectus emerged as one of the most significant evolutionary steps toward modern humans. These early humans had many features that we recognize in ourselves today, such as a fully upright posture, larger brains, and more advanced tool-making abilities. Unlike their ancestors, Homo Erectus was capable of creating more refined tools using fire and had a larger brain relative to body size. They were also one of the first hominids to leave Africa spreading across Asia and Europe. The increase in brain size marked an important development for cognitive abilities. This brain growth allowed for the development of more complex behaviors including the ability to plan, strategize, and possibly communicate through early forms of language. Homo erectus lived in family groups and likely hunted in organized groups further enhancing their chances of survival. Tool use. This period also marks the increased use of tools, especially hand axes and fire. Fire allowed early humans to cook food, which in turn made it easier to digest and extract more energy, contributing to brain growth. Part 3. Neanderthals and the Evolution of Strength As Homo sapiens began to emerge in Africa, a distinct species called the Neanderthals developed in Europe and parts of Asia. Neanderthals were robust and stocky, with a much more powerful physique than modern humans. Their bodies were built to endure cold climates, with broad rib cages, shorter limbs, and stronger muscles, making them exceptional hunters. They were capable of hunting large animals like mammoths and bison, and their thick bones provided protection against the physical demands of their environment. Despite their physical strength, Neanderthals also demonstrated cultural behaviors that were remarkably advanced for their time. They buried their dead, used simple tools, and may have even communicated through rudimentary language. While they were physically different from modern humans, Neanderthals shared many characteristics, such as the use of fire and the development of early art. Part 4. The Evolution of Homo Sapiens the emergence of Homo sapiens around 300,000 years ago was a pivotal moment in human evolution. Homo sapiens were physically more similar to us than earlier hominids, but it was their cognitive abilities and social structures that set them apart. With larger brains and the development of sophisticated tools, humans began to craft intricate items, build shelters, and create art. Homo sapiens spread out of Africa in waves, encountering and sometimes interbreeding with other human species, including Neanderthals. As modern humans adapted to new environments, their physical traits also began to change. In colder regions, lighter skin allowed for more efficient production of vitamin D, while in hotter climates, darker skin protected from the sun's harmful UV rays. The development of language became the defining feature of Homo sapiens, with complex vocal cords and a larger brain capable of abstract thought, humans were able to communicate more effectively 
effectively, build societies, and pass down knowledge through generations. Part 5. The Development of Human Features Over millions of years, human bodies evolved to adapt to a wide variety of environmental conditions, diets, and physical demands. One of the most remarkable changes was the development of the human brain. As our ancestors moved from smaller brain species to modern humans, their brains grew both in size and complexity. The increase in brain capacity allowed for problem solving, social organization, and the development of language. Another significant evolution was in the structure of the human face. As humans adapted to new diets and social structures, their jaws became smaller and their teeth became less suited for chewing raw, tough foods. The reduction in jaw size was paired with a decrease in the size of the teeth, which were no longer needed for grinding raw plant material. The structure of the face, including the nose and eyes, became more refined over time. The human hand also evolved to become more dexterous. The longer fingers and opposable thumb allowed for delicate tasks such as tool making, sewing, and even art creation. Part 6. The Role of Culture and Technology in Human Evolution Humans have always been unique in the sense that culture and technology have greatly influenced our evolutionary journey. The creation of tools allowed for the development of better hunting methods, cooking techniques, and eventually agriculture. Early humans began to hunt in groups, build homes, and use fire for warmth and cooking, which drastically changed their way of life. One of the most transformative periods in human evolution came with the advent of agriculture around 10,000 years ago. With the ability to farm, humans began to settle in one place, leading to the creation of villages, cities, and eventually nations. However, this shift also brought about new challenges, such as poor nutrition, disease, and less physical activity, leading to changes in body size and health. As human societies grew, so did the development of language, art, and written records. This cultural evolution allowed humans to pass down knowledge and ideas, further accelerating our progress as a species. Part 7. The Impact of Modern Life on Human Evolution In modern times, the forces of natural selection have been overshadowed by culture, medicine, and technology. With advances in medicine, many diseases that would have been fatal to our ancestors are now treatable. People with genetic disorders that would have limited their survival are able to live and reproduce, which is changing the gene pool. Furthermore, the rapid pace of technological development is beginning to influence how our bodies work. The rise of digital technology, such as smartphones and computers, has had a profound effect on posture, eye health, and even the dexterity of our hands. As globalization continues, people of different ethnic backgrounds are intermingling more than ever before. This has led to greater genetic diversity, but it also means that the evolutionary pressures that shaped our ancestors are no longer as prominent. Instead, cultural and technological advancements are now the dominant forces driving human development. Visuals, people using smartphones, showing the impact on posture and hand dexterity, medicine and health. Modern medicine has eliminated many natural selection pressures. People with genetic conditions who might not have survived in ancient times now live to reproduce, which affects the gene pool. Visuals, a comparison between historical medical conditions and the modern ability to treat them. Globalization and adaptation. As humans move across the globe, genetic mixing has led to a more diverse population with a variety of traits. Visuals, map showing human migration patterns over thousands of years and the increasing genetic diversity of populations. As we look to the future, human evolution is likely to continue, though in ways we may not fully understand yet. The constant interplay between our biology and the culture we create will keep shaping our bodies in new and unexpected ways. The human story is one of remarkable survival, adaptation, and change and we continue to be the product of millions of years of evolution, still evolving to this very day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the evolution of the human body, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. What part of our evolutionary story fascinated you the most? Let us know.